lesson. So this lesson that I'm gonna um, go over is super important math lesson. And so this is the mitten counting clothespin activity. And this can be done so many different ways, and especially because <clears throat> depending on if your child is three, four, or five, um, could really make a difference on how you do this. And again, you can try all of these activities throughout the week. It doesn't all have to be done at once or um, you know, just done once and then put away you can build. So you have all these mittens in here. So one, especially for the younger, the youngest um, learners could just be mix them all up, dump them out and ask them to find, you know, put the, the matches together, you know, see if they can um, do that, all the colors and then go over what all the colors are. Um, that's a great skill to have. Um, also on each of these, uh, and I, I did it by um, color. Um, so obviously, three dots, the number three. So getting them to really start to recognize, and I'm sorry if this is backwards um, how I'm recording, but um, really starting to try to get that um, awareness that this um, symbol is the number three, and then that matches up with things that um, that there are three of, like three dots. And I also am kind of starting to introduce them to when they get to kindergarten, they do... Um, they do counting in, in certain blocks. And so I kind of put, they go in five columns and then five underneath. Um, so I'm starting to try to get their brains to start thinking, um, thinking that way. So that's why they're all kind of lined up. Um, my three and four year olds, you only have mittens that go up to six because the dice only goes up to six. Um, if you are one of my late four or uh, my four or five year olds, then you guys will have mittens that go up to 12. And so again, you can have them mix them all up, match the number with counting the dots. That's super important, that number recognition. Um, another thing you can do is if they already know their the symbol for the numbers, they can start attaching paper clips. And this is that really helpful um, for writing um, and the fine motor skills is it actually takes, um, it's kind of a skill to really be able to open a paper clip and attach it to something. So we're gonna do a lot of paper clip, um, or clothes clip, clothes line clips, whatever you call them, I'm sorry, um, clothes pins. Uh, and so attaching three of any color, right? And then, you know, one, two, three, and having them remove them, they can pick another. Um, if they don't know the symbols, which, you know, that's not my expectation at this point, but again, matching. So there are five dots on here, count out five clothes pins, one, two, three, you know, and so that's super, super, super are amazing activities and skills for this. Um, you can also do the dice, roll the dice. I rolled a one. So they need to either find the number one, which I'm not sure which color that is on here. It's brown. Yeah. So they can either match the dice with one of these or match the dice with the dots. Um, and then again, my four and five year olds rolling two dice. Um, and adding up, you know, at doing a little bit of addition. But if that's too hard, again, just stay with the five and the six. Um, so I gave everybody, woo, only six clothespins. Um, oh, I'm sorry. And I, I did give the ones that have the higher mittens more clothespins. But, um, you know, I really, my expectation is to at least be able to hand or count up to five objects um, by this time in the year. So have fun, do it as much as you can throughout the week, and I hope that gave you some ideas.